Hey, thanks, Chad. That sounds like that's a blast out there. I am really sorry I missed it. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of great fun, a lot of great chow. Hey, everybody, I'm Roger B. Welcome to Dutch Oven 101. It's not really Dutch Oven 101 today. Actually, we're not going to be doing much cooking at all. I'm going to teach you how to go buy the food. Go to the grocery store and find out how to do it capably. You see all these cooking shows, I call them the dump and stir, and we do some of that here on the show as well. But we talk about, hey, let's put together this dish or that dish. We never talk about how this stuff got here in the first place. So I thought it'd be fun to talk about for just a minute, the grocery store. And I'm gonna lead off with, I hate coupons. Now that I have everyone's attention in the room, there's a reason why I hate coupons. Because if you take a brand item and you take a coupon to get the cost off, that's the generic cost. And the store brands anymore to me to cook with, in particular if you're cooking in bulk, are just as good as, as, a, as the regular brand. Don't go hungry. Use a menu. Plan what you're going to buy in advance and stick to the list. If you sit down over a year's period of time and find out how much money you've spent on food, it'll blow you away. Be prepared. That way, the next time you go grocery shopping, it'll be a great experience and cost you less money. Some of the tricks of the trade. When you go to a grocery store, where the things are on a given shelf, there's a reason for that. Those companies pay for that shelf space. So if you look away from here, in other words, up here or down here, that's where some of the lower cost items are gonna be. Use the internet. It never ceases to amaze me on places like Amazon.com and other places on the internet where you can buy a lot of the dry goods in bulk. And you can also learn a lot more tips about how to do your grocery shopping and make it a, a successful experience. Thanks again for joining me on the kind of the prerequisite of Dutch Oven 101 where we kind of give you the, the backstage pass, if you will, of grocery shopping and have you be able to do it capably and enjoy yourself more in the great outdoors.